my wife and I decided we're gonna make a run for it. We're gonna take a trip to Yunnan. Get out of Shanghai. We're in this uh, special line for people that came from Shanghai. Had to fill out a bunch of papers. Get the Kunming Jiang Kang Ma. Man, the weather huh? is so nice here. 27 degrees and dry. I'm wasting my time in Shanghai. Yeah, time to go to the hotel, eat a late dinner, and start this vacation. The following day. Why you loving Kunming? Something Shanghai does not have is what I'm on right now. Dian Dong Dan Chua. Throw my suitcase on here, scan it, and go. We're actually changing hostels. The one we were at last night doesn't have any more rooms for tonight. According to the app, I could go like 51 kilometers on this, drive it all over the city. Look at all these e-bikes you can rent. It's only one and a half quai to start. So UK? Is UK? No, no, no. So USA? Yes. Can you know, yes, I can. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Very friendly people here. A bunch of kids are quite excited just to practice their English with me a little bit. Today we're just back on the scooters. We're going park hopping. We were gonna actually rent a car when we got to Yunnan. Probably just be easier to drive around and go where we want. But with these electric scooters, you don't see a point. Wherever you go, they're just everywhere. So. <laughs> One disadvantage of these electric bikes is if you go outside the border, which we just were, you just lose power. Now uh, the power just came back, so. Good thing is if you run out of power, you can just pedal. Yeah. So one thing I discovered about Kunming is there are a ton of walking streets, tons of food. So today is gonna be a day for trying things I've never tried before. So let's check it out and see what Kunming has to offer in terms of unique foods. It's like Changfen, but more Yunnan style instead of Guangdong style. Oh man, that's amazing. I want some more of that. Dip it in that spicy sauce. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. I'm at a loss for words. It's just really nice. I really like this Xiangwu. It actually kind of tastes beady. I thought this was some kind of plant, but then I came over and had a look. It's actually a Fei Chong. I was like, man, I've never seen this plant before. It's so interesting. Someone at one point thought, I'll just take this onion and stuff it in a large intestine. Season it, cook it, and sell it. Nice. I found the next thing I'm gonna eat. Something that I also haven't seen in Shanghai. I <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know this existed, but I'm excited to try it. Mmm, that's nice. Very chewy. Cheese is not salty at all. It's kind of that milky, cheesy flavor. And then you got that sweet chocolate mixed in there, so that's very interesting. It's like you get all chocolate in the beginning, and then after you chew on it for a while, then it's just the cheese left, and you get the cheese flavor. So. Shanghai definitely does not have this. Clouds just resting on the mountains. Rental three-wheel telescope for stargazing. That is amazing. Something else I never known existed in all my years in China is Huobajia. I've been selling these things all over. I never knew what they were. Now I understand. These big logs they light on fire and it seems like just playing with fire to me, but let's check it out. <laughs> <笑>小心一点啊这个火把节是庆祝什么呢这个火把节是他们本地的习俗就是烧掉所有的晦气然后带来好运红红火火哦有意思我尽力啊对<笑><笑> 
All right, so we decided to hop on the scooter, drive up to the main area of the celebration. It looks pretty intense. There's just people with Hoba everywhere, waving them around. I have a feeling this would definitely not be allowed in Shanghai, so we're gonna take advantage of being out here. The one day a year, people can play with fire in town. He just kind of secret attacked me and put the coal on me. I don't know how to describe it, but it just feels like we're in prehistorical times. Ah, man, fire, yeah. Very traditional uh, BMW flags. I'm sure those are very traditional, you know, flags for the ceremony. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna jump in and try not to get set on fire. Hi! I didn't die, so that's good. I still don't know what we're celebrating, but I like it. Okay, time to go clean this off. I didn't get it too bad, to be honest. Well, that was not at all what I expected, in a good way. I had no idea what I walked into, but uh, looks like the party's still going up there on the hill. But as far as just uh, common folks on the street, their huoba are just kind of burning down. Mostly just family celebrating together. Well, I have to say that was a much crazier night than I expected, but had a great time so far. Yunnan's been amazing. This whole town just smells like a campfire. It's crazy. I kind of like it. It reminds me of being back home camping in Minnesota. Visited Kunming and Dali so far, and tomorrow we're going to head north. It's all kind of up in the air. Just doing everything spur of the moment. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Got lots more great adventures coming up very soon. Until then, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. Watch Michael Osher, Shots it. Thank you.